What is up, guys, and welcome to the show. So I figured I'd do something a little bit different on the show before. I've never done this before, um, a trading card of WWE. I've never even done any trading cards of anything, really. I mean, other than, you know, Magic the Gathering cards. But I know these aren't worth anything. I mean, they'll never be worth anything. But I just kind of figured I am a fan of uh, wrestling and stuff. So, um I figured I'd check them out to just really kind of see what they're all about, see what you really get in them. It's a 2001, uh, 2021 uh, trading cards, uh, collect autographs from your favorite superstar. So I'm assuming that there's autographed pieces in here. Uh, I don't really know. What's this say here? It says, look for WWE Hall of Fame cards. Uh, look for all the film strap relics featuring memorable WWE matches. Okay, so I'm assuming that there's going to be pretty interesting stuff in there. So I'll go to the top and pop these guys open. So nothing really special so far. I mean, it just looks okay. Okay, so it does come with... Quite a few packages, actually, surprisingly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven packages. So there's seven cards in each package. Eleven package. Uh, look for WWE Hall of Fame cards. So. Very interesting to see what is in each package. Let's kind of just throw all this off to the side for now. And I guess we'll start with this one package. So let's crack her open and we'll see what we really get here. Opening this with one hand. So let's see what we get. All right, so, okay, I'm not even too sure who that guy is. Like I said, I've been a wrestling fan for a while, but I'm Kevin Owens and the Street Profits defeat Seth Rollins, Austin Theory. Okay, so not, not too, too bad, not too, too bad. Chad Gabriel, so decent, decent card on that one. Nothing really too great. Sasha Banks, pretty decent considering that she's not there anymore. Um, if we could focus, Bobby Lashley impresses MVP. So, I mean, so far, nothing great. Like, nothing I'd actually really write home about. Uh, who's that there? If this camera would focus ever. Yeah, it's Ember Moon anyway. I mean, this, this fucking piece of shit won't even focus. But, I mean, so far, not impressive. Nothing really too impressive. I don't really get what the point of these cards are. I guess there's a, a description of each one on the back. Each moment on the back. I don't really even know kind of what the point of these cards are. Like, do people actually really trade these cards? Do people really actually pay money for these things? Like... You know, what's kind of the point of these cards? Like, I don't get it myself. But, uh, so we have Naomi. I mean, even the quality of these cards are really cheap. Like, like they're, they're not a good quality cards. Randy Orton and Attacks MVP. So they're not really good quality cards. They're, they're really flimsy. They're, they're printed on, like... Just, they're really not good quality at all. Memorable entrance. Randy Macho Man Savage. I mean, that is kind of cool just because it's, you know, Macho Man Savage from back in the day. But for first kind of impressions of this, I mean, they're pretty sad. Like, uh, I mean, I just kind of took them out of the card and they're all kind of like, just kind of bent up. And just the quality is just unfortunately just not there well as as far as cards are really concerned they're, they're printed on just a really not good quality the the front is very 
kind of, I don't know, it just, it seems like it's trying to be good quality, but the quality is just not there. And I'm sure for your price point, you want quality, but so far, I mean, just the cards are not even that great. Like, there's no really, it's just kind of moments, uh, like, and then not even really big moments the the poses from the wwe superstars are not even really that great like the the poses aren't even that great you know so far i haven't gotten any you know i mean the kind of shiny ones are i guess it looks like they're trying to add to the quality with that but i mean you know, I, I kind of wish the, the poses from the superstars were a little bit better instead of having kind of like just them with their in-ring poses or their entrance poses. It would be nice if they kind of pulled them to the side and had them actually doing like, you know, kind of poses. Because, I mean, unless you know the moment of... Elias defeating King Corbin unless you know that moment and it's a big moment for you I mean even that pose I mean he's kind of if you're a fan of Jey Uso you know he's hiding his face it's you know there's really not any anything huge anything really worth this this one's cool that one's awesome. I can get behind that. British Bulldog. Okay, that one's that one's awesome. That one's awesome. That, that one's cool. You got me on that one. Okay. Out of what? 7, 14. Of like 20 plus cards that I've gone through. Like. Okay, okay. So here's a Hall of Fame. Uh, card Hollywood Hulk Hogan defeats Ric Flair to retain the WCW championship okay so that's kind of the Hall of Fame thing I guess where they have like a Hall of Fame moment see this that's a good quality card what, what is that anyway Bobby Fish Worlds Collide I don't know what that is congratulations on your own authentic NXT World Collide event to use Matt Relic. So I guess that's a piece of the you the the mat that was used at World Collide. Guess that's kind of actually pretty neat that they actually put stuff in that. Like that's that's actually cool. So they have three cool points in it. Like the British Bulldog card was pretty awesome. The WWE uh, ring relic thing. And that was pretty cool as, as well. Uh, the British Bulldog card. Awesome. Just because I'm a fan of the Bulldog. The rest of these cards seem to be duds. Dolph Ziggler. Kind of a cool action shot. You know. Okay. What is this one? RKO. Lights out on the game. A lot of WrestleMania cards, not not as much as I thought. I wonder, like, it would be kind of cool if they just did their their own kind of WrestleMania box. If they do, the more I look at these cards, the more I go through them, the more you know they they kind of grow on me. I, I can I, I kind of see how people really get into this. Like I said, the the three cool cards are the three that. You know, have like that little ring thing and all that. But, I mean, three out of, you know, what, like 40 cards or whatever that I, I went through that. Sheamus is kind of cool. Seeing kind of the older guys like that, I mean, that, that is kind of cool. But this is a cool card just because that has kind of a, a good pose for him. They need too many Elias cards, you know what I mean, like. <clears throat> from down to the last two don't think 
there's definitely no autograph stuff. For them saying that there's autograph stuff in here is definitely bullshit. WrestleMania, like the, what, what did they say here to look? Yeah, the WWE Hall of Fame cards, that's full of shit. You know, I don't know, the film strip relics, there was only one so far. Uh, the Hall of Fame ring or Hall of Fame cards, I guess, was a one. You know, so I mean, it's it's not it's not worth it at all. Like buying these things, it's it's not it's not worth it's not worth it. It's not worth anything. You know, they they're definitely not worth it at all. I I wouldn't waste your money. I got one Hall of Fame card. I yeah, I don't know. So only one of Hall of Fame card, nothing autographed. Like it said, there would be nothing worth even really mentioning. Rey Mysterio, not even a classic Mysterio. There's nothing really big for any like, you know, kind of huge moments. So it's this one. This one is... This moment, uh, yeah, nothing to write home about. So I'm on my last, like, two, three cards, Goldberg. That one's kind of cool just because it's an older, kind of, older Goldberg. Uh, Randy Orton, nothing really great, like I said. That's actually all the cards now. There's one more card. And it is... Okay. That's actually all the cards. So that was actually pretty sad. That was actually not worth it at all. Uh, for there being a Hall of Fame cards, cards plural means more than one. Uh, what is a small print says? Yeah. Uh, so there was one Hall of Fame card. Uh, for them going on a boat... Collect autographs from your favorite superstars. There was no autographs in these things. There was no autographed cards. Nobody signed anything. The only three cards that are worth, like, to me. Um, this is kind of cool. And even then, I don't know if that's actually real because it says it's a, it says it's a relic. So, relic is match relic. So... A relic is something that's non-original. It's just a relic of something. So that's just probably like the same material of what they use. So the idea is kind of cool, but even that's garbage. Um, there was one Hall of Fame card and I figured it'd be, you know, that's kind of crap garbage. British Bulldog is the only kind of cool thing even then, you know what I mean? Like it's not worth it to, to me unless you're really hit the jackpot kind of you know unless you're really kind of collecting you know different things for different reasons like oh you know a goldberg because you don't have a goldberg i mean it's yeah don't do it it's not worth the money it's just it was a waste of time it was a waste you know what i mean like these are not cool not cool at all like comment subscribe